Hey, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now, what's better than selling a product to a customer one time? Well, selling the same product to the same customer over and over and over again. Now, how can you achieve this, you ask? Well, it's easy with Odoo subscriptions. Now, subscriptions are products or services that customers pay for and receive on a recurring basis. So, for example, instead of selling a single online class to a customer, you could sell them a subscription to a series of online classes that the customer pays for every single month. Now, many products in a wide variety of industries are sold on a subscription basis these days, from online classes, food, cleaning, all types of services, video streaming, and it's no mysteries why businesses do this. Now, subscription products provide a source of recurring revenue for businesses. Now, the revenue stream created from subscriptions can be reliable and long-lasting. Now, subscriptions let you keep customers for an extended period of time, building trust and loyalty between the customer and your company. Subscriptions also let you charge a lower recurring price to your customers rather than a large upfront cost, potentially attracting more customers. Now, here at Stealthywood, we want to make the most of our furniture expertise by selling subscription products. Now, we're great at building furniture, so... Why not sell online classes to teach people how to build furniture too, so that their wood can also be stealthy? Now, enough chit chat. Let's look at how we sell our online furniture building classes in Odoo. All right, so here we are on our subscriptions dashboard. Now, the first thing we have to do to get started with subscriptions is we have to configure the recurrence periods. So I'm actually gonna go up here to configuration and you guessed it, recurrence periods. Now, recurrence periods are the time periods in which subscriptions renew. They designate how often the customer receives and pays for those subscription products. Now, the subscriptions app comes with some basic recurrence periods that we could see here. We have a couple of days and some of them are weekly, et cetera, et cetera. But I've also added some of my own. And in our case, let's create a new one right now. Now, let's say that a customer wants the option to renew their subscription every Two months. We're going to name this one two months. And now I forgot a space, so we're going to add a space. Perfect. All right, so for duration, what do we need to set this up as? Well, we need to set it up as two because it's two months. And that's why our unit is also set to months. It's that easy, oh, doers. And we're all set. We just hit a quick save. Now, the next thing we need to do is configure our subscription product. So we're going to go up here again to subscriptions, products. Now we need a product. Let's create a product to sell. So we're gonna hit new. And what is our product's name? Well, we just talked about it. We're gonna be making furniture in a building class. So furniture building classes. In our case, class, because we're selling it as a unit. Now it's important to make sure that the checkboxes for both can be sold over here are set up. And also the recurring box is also checked off right here, which if you hover over here, it'll tell you. If it sets, it'll create a subscription once that it's sold. And that tells Odoo, hey, this is a subscription product. Now this class is not purchased from a vendor since it's our in-house you know, furniture experts who teach the class. So I'm actually going to uncheck can be purchased, which would be the vendor in this case. Now we need a product type. And in this case, it can actually stay like this. It's a service. And we're going to basically be invoicing this on a prepaid and fixed price. Now, it's time to configure the pricing. I could set, in our case, the sales price here to anything I want. I could set it to like a normal product, like let's say $300. We try to be affordable. Now, this means if I sell this product only once as a regular product and not a subscription, then the price will be $300. But in order to configure the subscription pricing, I'm going to actually go to the time-based pricing tab, which as you guessed it, now I can give the customers the option to pay for these classes monthly or every two months. So I'm gonna click on add a price and we're gonna select it from this list. Our two months and our other one, we're gonna select, as I said, monthly. Boom. And now, as you guessed it, we also need a price in this case. So for the first one, we're gonna do the monthly at 100. Then we're going to do the two months at 180. A little bit of a discount there. Now, let's say I want my VIP customers to get a small discount on monthly classes. I'll just add another monthly period and use the price list column here. So we're going to go again. And in our case, we're going to use this price list. VIP customers. 
And for this one, we also need something else. In our case, it's also, once again, monthly. And finally, the price, which is 90 because you are a VIP here. Now, for more information on Priceless, be sure to check out our, basically, the sales tutorials or the documentation for that. Okay, we're all set up here, and now I'm ready to sell my products. So, we plan to sell this furniture building class with some worksheets that will help our customers learn the material. Since we're often going to sell these two products together, it would be a great idea if we had a pre-made quotation ready with both of these products already on it. But, oh wait, that's right, Odoo has that. They're called quotation templates. Or, in our case for subscriptions, they're called subscription plans. Now let's set one up. So beforehand, I'm gonna save manually just in case. And we're gonna go to configuration. And what are we going here, Odooers? We are going to plans. We're gonna do a new one. What are we gonna call this one? Well, if you're familiar with quotation templates in Odoo, these work exactly the same way. If you're not familiar with quotation templates, then definitely check out our other sales tutorials, since the subscriptions app works in harmony with the sales app. Now, let's make our template for the subscription plan that we think will sell most often, which is a monthly plan. So we're gonna name this one, as you guessed it, monthly furniture building class. Furniture building class. Typing is always a fun experience with me. Now, when I set a recurrence on the right over here, it essentially, we get to see that the form officially changes from a quotation template, because watch, over here to monthly. Boom. We see that the form officially changes from a quotation template over here to a subscription plan once we selected it. And now we get a few more configuration options below recurrence that only apply to subscriptions. We have about what, in our case? We have about 10 months of classes prepared right now, so I will set the duration to fixed. And the number that I just told you, which is 10 months. Now, I'm also going to check the self-closable checkbox right here so that customers have the option to close their subscriptions themselves. And if the customer does not renew or pay for their subscription, then I'll make the subscription automatically close after 15 days. And boom, look at that. Now, we just need to add all the products that we want to sell together in the order line. So we're going to go with the very first one. Select add a product. And which one did we want? Furniture building class. Boom. Look at that. Great. Now, didn't we say we had something else as well? We were bundling things right here. In our case, we also want to add another product, which is the furniture building worksheets. So we'll type that in. Let autofill do its work. Boom, we have these set up, great. Now, quick manual save, and boom, we're all set up and ready to sell subscriptions. So here on the main subscriptions dashboard, I need to make a new one, so we're gonna select new. And in this case, we need a customer. We're gonna select deco addict, because an addict will always never cancel. Now that we have our customer set up, if you see this field over here called subscription plan, well, you guessed it, I just need to select mine. And in our case, what was it? the monthly furniture building class. And look at that, Odoo always automatically fills everything according to the plan. And that is really convenient for our salespeople. They can just click two buttons. Now, when we manually save the order, you're gonna see something happen. Look at that. We'll see a very cool blue recurring button that appears up here. And that pretty much tells us, hey, this is a recurring tag. Now, all subscription orders have a recurring tag to differentiate them from a regular sales order because differentiation is very, very nice, especially for people who like feng shui. Now, what's really cool is that we can create a subscription order from the subscriptions app and the sales app. Now, watch what I mean by that. We go out of here, go into sales, new. What are we going to do again? Well, we need another customer. Do we still want to attempt Deco Addict? No, I think Ready Matt would like something too because they're ready to change stuff. Now, if you notice, quotation template, and it appears right there too. Ah, it's beautiful. Everything is working. Now it automatically turns it into a subscription order when we hit what? When we hit save. Boom, tag right there again. And all subscription orders will appear on the subscriptions dashboard, even if they were created in the sales app. That's how perfectly integrated the two apps are. Now, thanks for watching, Odooers. I hope you'll subscribe to more videos by hitting that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to go grab a snack. These are difficult and you need food.